Well, Joyce, King County plans to move its drive through vaccine clinic here to Kent so they can do everything indoors out of the cold. Other providers are delaying their vaccine clinics and testing. COVID vaccine appointments at King County's Auburn drive through site scheduled for Thursday, Friday and Saturday are being moved to the Showware Center in Kent, an indoor space where staff and patients will be out of the cold. In Seattle, Swedish plans to delay by a few hours the start of its Friday and Saturday vaccination clinics at Seattle U. They say they don't expect any changes to Thursday's appointments. Mason County is postponing its February 11th mass vaccination clinic. The county says it'll contact patients to reschedule appointments. Healthcare officials across western Washington are closely watching the forecast and say patients should prepare for more disruptions. Please do not put yourself and others in danger by driving in the snow and ice to get your COVID-19 vaccine. If the weather is bad, we may have to close some sites and reschedule appointments. Snohomish County says right now it does not plan to close its mass vaccination sites, but they are pausing COVID testing at five sites Thursday through Sunday. The city of Seattle says it plans to keep its free walk up testing sites open through the next few days as long as the roads are clear. The city says it will prioritize sending snow plows down major roads to the testing sites so they can clear the snow out of there if needed. A lot of this could change in the coming. Be prepared for more disruptions. We'll let you know if anything else is canceled. Live in Kent, Ted Lant, King 5 News. All right, Ted, thank you. Pierce County is ahead of the curve right now. Health leaders decided to move up some vaccination appointments to today and tomorrow at the Tacoma Dome. Health officials say appointments for tomorrow are already full, but they will announce more pop-up sites soon. As conditions change, make sure you download the King 5 app to get the weather and the breaking news alerts. The app makes it really simple to send us pictures too, so you can show us what the snow looks like where you live.